Thanks for watching the Council in Brief. I'm Susan Kennedy. We're here with all the news of the Montgomery County Council for this third week in April. We start this time with the resurrection of the controversial ambulance fee proposal. County Executive Ike Leggett wants to reinstate the fee to offset education costs shifted by the state. As Council President Roger Berliner tells us, Mr. Leggett sent an expedited bill to the Council that would create the EMS fee. It's not the case uh, that it's needed to offset the budget. The budget as proposed by the county executive has a $200 million increase without ambulance fees. So clearly there's plenty of room to figure out how to balance the budget without ambulance fees. But the major point is the voters spoke on this less than 18 months ago and they rejected ambulance fees. Voters decided they didn't want to have the county charge anyone a $300, $800 ambulance fee and it's disrespectful of the county executive with regard to voters to propose this and I don't think the county council is going to stick its thumb in the eye of voters as the county executive is. Councilmember Mark Elrich has introduced a bill that would prohibit the construction of a gas station at the Costco that's planned next to the Wheaton Westfield Mall. Community members have been opposed to the plan since its introduction two years ago. They say it's a health risk and council members agree. This is a super mega gas station located next to a residential neighborhood and next to a swimming pool and barely a thousand feet from a school. And that raises another level of concerns and I, they cannot mitigate all of the negative impacts of the gas station. There are going to be lines of cars that you see at every Costco station idling within, I guess it's four or five hundred feet of a swimming pool outdoors within about the same distance of a bunch of houses. and. It's just not a safe thing to do. And when it came to my attention, I thought, well, you know, it doesn't just apply to Costco. I wouldn't want this done in any neighborhood. I wouldn't want someone to land one of these mega stations next to a rec center or ball fields or schools. If it were my neighborhood, I would actually do the same thing that this community is doing, which is to say, you all know what the health uh, impacts can be and could be of putting a gas station of this size with that many bays this close to a community. Um, we do as a council sit as a board of public health. I think this is a huge public health concern and so I have signed on to that ZTA as a co-sponsor and hopefully we'll have that conversation uh, at the council about you know when we want to build these kinds of facilities this close to people um, what those impacts are and what we can do as the council to um, redirect maybe where the Costco mega um, gas station should locate. A new bill that would require utility companies to submit a vegetation management plan to the council has been officially introduced. The measure is designed to provide protection for the county's tree canopy while allowing utility companies to trim trees within designated guidelines. We really had some issues. I mean, Pepco went through a period of neglecting to do what they were supposed to do, the tree trimming, and they seem to have responded to years of neglect by cutting trees so aggressively that, you know, they may never grow back. And, you know, people have shown us pictures of clear cutting. They've shown us, you know, pictures of trees reduced a little more than tall toothpicks. Um, they've shown us pictures of trees where branches have been lopped off on one side, while heavy, massive branches are on the other side of the the tree, which just makes you wonder how the tree is going to stay balanced. I mean, they've, people have brought us a lot of concerns about how the trimming was done. And we thought that we need to, yes, encourage Pepco to trim, but they shouldn't trim so aggressively that they never have to come back because the tree dies. Well, that does it for this edition of the Council in Brief. For County Cable Montgomery, I'm Susan Kennedy. Thanks for watching.